Okay, now let's get into the application of some of the things we talked about. All right, so we're, we're going for a loss prevention program, but we were working off of expectancy. So what I have is two models right here. One model's called Bourbon, one model's called Betty. Now, Bourbon has about a 60% win rate and a 40% loss rate. Betty has about a 60% loss rate and a 40% win rate. Guess which one makes more money? Well, the one that makes more money the safest is Betty. Bourbon makes you drink heavy. To understand this um, and how it works, you have to see some numbers. I'm going to go to mt4i.com slash users slash black bourbon bourbon v3. Okay. Now, I'm just waiting for it to come up on the other screen. All right. So this thing should be coming on right here. We'll give it just a, a bit mt4i.com black bourbon v3 well i guess we better put another w in there okay should have it coming up here in just a second we're going to go to stats now i want you to look at something under stats this is open to closed orders average win is 62 percent average loss is 38 percent 118 wins and 139 dollars in losses on average now if we take this and we come down here when you're going to win according to kenneth fairchild a friend of mine that's a trader and a, got a master's degree in every statistical thing you can think of um, number of um, number of winners times average win equals total wins and number of losses times average loss equals total losses and if total winners is greater than total losers you won yay well i'm glad you noticed that kenneth okay now if we come up here we look at total number of winners is greater than total number of losers well what if my average loss is greater than my average win cool we're winning but what if my average loss is greater than uh, my average win, but total wins is greater? Well, that's what we had on that position that we just brought on. That's a profitable position. We average um, winners is less than average loser, but we came out in profit because of total wins. Now, what we've got on here is what if we're developing a system? We're not covering that tonight. You know, we're under development. We got a bad system out of the gate. It's not working. What we are working on is a profitable system. Let's say someone gave you a profitable system and all of a sudden you let that system go so far south that your total winners is less in dollars is less than your total losers. That's equivalent to me dying. It's too late. I'm dead because I lost all my winning. Now, what you have to do is we need to get these ratios there's four numbers we need to get average wins average losses total wins and total losses um, and average wins in dollars and average loss in dollars so i guess there's six numbers we need to figure out a warning sign for jeff to have a heart attack um you know guys know i free base um red bull and um i dry it out with a butane lighter mix it in with a little bit of five hour energy and top it off with coffee and wonder why i'm not dead well, warning signs of a heart attack are chest pains. They haven't had those. Shortness of breath, haven't had those. Um, but what those warning signs lead you up to is average wins um, are decreasing. Average loss is decreasing, or average win amount is decreasing. Average number of losses is increasing. Average loss is increasing. Well, you need to work off some numbers some some numbers in here so what we do is we bring these over and we say look how do we get to this we're not talking about loss recovery but um, we need to figure out some does it drop first or rise first so we get into a trade it rises hits our profits and then drops well if it does that this is really easy as it starts to drop close more of the position earlier and then it's going to raise your your um, winning amount because you lost less. But if it drops first, then rises, we have a problem. We have to tear in or increase our target or our trailing stop. Well, if it rises, you can cut the loss in half 
and stop it out. So whichever way it goes first. Um, and there's we have lots of tools that do that. We have the D zone that calculates this out. Um, I'll bring that up and show you. We'll go to control N. This may not have any. I don't have very much data on this um, particular symbol. Um, so I better do it on the euro because I've got a lot of data on it. Let's take euro USD. Let's pull this on and we take euro USD and let's come down here and let's bring this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag something on here and it says D zone. We're just going to, it's got a black background so we can catch the number. I'm going to say grab as much data as you can and um, tell me what's the average rise. Well, 47% of the time this thing rises and then drops. Okay. Only 42% of the time it rises and then it drops. Okay. Resistance forms first 42% of the time. Only 42% of the time will it do that. Well, okay, great. We want to know if it rises or falls first. Um, if we know that, we can make a guess as to whether I should cut my um, stop in half or work another number. But this is a loss prevention thing. What we really need to do is get in here and look at this. This is an expert, and it's called your ratios. It gives you the percent of winners. Now, this system has a 50% win rate, 50% loss rate on purpose to show you something. The um, so what we're going to do, you can see that. Watch. Watch this right here. Right-click, save as detailed report. Click save. Replace it. It'll pop up in just a second. It'll tell us. Okay, we're just going to wait. This thing should pop up. Oh, it's on the other screen. No wonder I didn't see it. Okay, look, this is this system right here. It's just one we play with. It's got, um, it's a fake account, but it's got um, a 50% win rate, 50% loss rate. Where is it? Um, where is it right now? Because it's got some open 50%, 50%. Profitable trades, unprofitable trades. So it's 50-50. There's no real advantage there. We win 75, though, and lose 63. So the total amount we won is $4,000. The total amount we've lost is $3,000. This is our average wins and our average losses. Now, if I take the order that we're in profit, this is open orders right here. We divide that by the total amount won. Well, how much is this um, that we're down or up? Okay, well, we're down, so it's not very much money. It's it's less than 1% of what we won. That 30, this, this 75 bucks is no big deal of, of our total winners. But boy, if that gets high, are you in trouble? Because that number tells you if you get out of whack and your total, you're letting it cut into all your wins. Oof, come on, there's a limit to the pain I can take. All right, now this is your order profit divided by the average um, wins in dollars okay the average wins in dollars so this is the unprofitable side over here we're on the unprofitable one so we got the average win in dollars so how how many wins is that taken up well that's 50 percent of your average wins that's what that's telling you that's 75 bucks is 50 percent of your average wins so um what was our average win it is so it's not not the 75 bucks the 37 bucks because it treats them as individual trades. I misspoke because you got the 65 right there. You take the 63 right here and you divide this by that. It's 50% of it. So we're down about 50%. You can do that quickly in your mind and you can take your total. Um, if you were in profit, let's say that was 60 bucks. Let's say it's 120 bucks. Woohoo! You made more than you normally did. And that means you erased one full loss because you've let it run farther. And you just have to think about balancing these in your head. These, these are numbers that you got to track in real time. They tell you whether your system's cracking up. Now, if you want, I'll make these into a moving average for you. You can have a moving average of average wins, moving average of average loss. You can have a moving average of total one. And you can start to see if you're drawn down by trend or if you're drawn up. It, you can see how many winners or losers you're eating up at any one time. It's really important to look at. But this was a quick nine minute how to use the information we talked about. Now, 
there was one other thing I forgot to tell you about inside that um, loss prevention. There's an indicator in here that's kind of cool. It's um, your trend indicator. It's red, blue trend. If you throw this on the chart, this is based on a 60 minute chart. If the bars are blue, it's trending up. If the bars are red, it's trending down on the 60 minute chart. So that's a good thing to look at. Um, and it, because we were talking about trend direction there, but I forgot to show it to you. So that's a quick 10 minute video on um, ratios and what you have to keep in mind. And if you get out of balance, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. So you need to watch these. All right. Thank you for your support, like Bartles and James said. Thanks.